Going on a road trip. What time is it? 7.45 in the morning. We'll be there at 10. Not bad, is it? Start on London Road, that's where we are now. Depends and how we fast you are, we does, yeah. And we've got 177 miles in the battery. And it's 149 miles to get there. <laughs> so here are the services. <laughs> the Jeopardy of an electric car, off we go. So we're on the road. We're going, to, we're going up to the northeast. We're going to meet a client. See our um, saucer up there, Andy. The client's going to see the house for the first time. But we're going to meet up with Andy. I'm going to meet the client for the first time, Colin. I've, I've never met Colin. Adam's in the back. What are you up to? Hello. You're allocating houses. So yeah, we're um, on the road. Road trip. I think we might go to the seaside for some fish and chips for lunch. Looking forward to it. Colin. Hi, Andy. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 And it's the first time he's been around to, uh, to see his property. We're going to have a little walk through. And is the uh, handhold partner that's renovated the place. So you're going to tell us what's been going on, what we've done. Um, we're in the front room. It's not a big house. It's a, it's, this is a £40,000 house. Um, you know, the area, we'll have a little bit of a, a, a brief overview of the area. Um, it I was saying before, it reminds me of the early days of Nottingham when we were buying. So, yeah. It, it's hard, it's impossible to buy a £40,000 house in Nottingham. This kind of house in Nottingham now is probably worth about £150,000. It's taken 10 years to get there. We bought it for £40,000, but that was a bargain. You've spent, what, how, how much on this about one? About 20000 uh, Yeah, about twenty. Yeah. So you, you're just over £60,000 all in. And what's this house worth right now? Seventy-five to eighty. Five. Seventy-five to eighty. So you can see how it's going to get to one hundred and fifty in, you know, however long. This kind of area, it's regenerating. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not an affluent area. There's no, there's no dressing up. It's not an affluent area, but it's also, you can buy a, you can buy a cheaper house in, 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 uh, in this area. Uh, oh. Stop that. oh, they're all going off, they're all going off. Um, you can buy a cheaper house, and perhaps we wouldn't, we shouldn't. Uh, we know that the rental demand's here. This one, we were, we were debating. So in the, it's taken two months to renovate it. Yeah. And I guess you were first offering, what, four months ago, five months ago? Yeah, exactly. And in yeah. that period of time, we think the rent has gone up just a bit. We're feeling it's just a bit stronger than when we first bought it. Yeah, or we're negotiating maybe it. £50 a month. Yeah, yeah, which, which yeah. makes all the difference. Yeah. So if this house, if we can get £500 a month for it, the numbers just stack up really well. Yeah. And yeah, if, if we get a little bit shy from that now, we were saying earlier on, you know, don't hold out for that extra £25 for a month because all of your gain goes. Get a good tenant in as quick as you can. It's on the market now. Um, and then over the next year, two years, three years, it, the rent is only going to go one way, isn't it? So, mm. What did we do in this room then? What was this? Yeah, well, if we start in the hallway, mm. we, we did have some damp which continued around to the, to the party wall. Mm. So we've hacked off the damp walls, yeah. checked the walls, um, re-skimmed or, or re, re, re wall papered. Yeah. Uh, the chimney breast did have a fireplace, so we removed that as well. Again, just another to, place where damp can come yeah, in. Yeah, so that's that's been been tread, and it just it just makes the house look a lot cleaner as well. Yeah. Creates a bit more space. It's a relatively small room, yeah. um, so obviously electrics have been upgraded as well. We've had some new radiators. It's um, warm in here. It's nice and warm. Some of the rads have been replumbed as well, just so that they're more efficient. So we've got an EICR on this. It's important you need that to rent it out. Um, Got to be. Yeah. We, we, we play decent and safe home. Obviously, the heating's integral part of that. Yeah. Um, should we 
keep, yeah. keep moving yeah, through. Yeah. Got a new kitchen in there as well. Obviously we've installed brand new kitchen units, appliances, new tiling. This room has been fully skimmed out. Um, LED bulkhead lights, extractor fans. I, f I, I think that they are um, building regulation standard in any, any new house now, but you, know, you program it all for you know, kitchen, you know, high power, etc. etc. Unobtrusive, but. It's constantly yeah. running. So yeah, constantly it'll running. Constantly mm. dry out any, any yeah. damp, moist air. Yeah. And it makes a big difference. So as part of the, the electrical works, obviously we've installed fans in the bathroom and kitchen. Obviously we've got a heat detector interlinked yeah. to smoke alarms in the, in the upstairs and yeah. in the lounge. So that's fully compliant as well. Carbon monoxide alarm, that's there. So you know, in terms of decent and safe home, it's those kind of things you've just, you just got to do. Um, it's just all the little ticks that you've got to do so that when you're renting the thing out, it's compliant and you're not going to get tripped off. If, yeah. if an environmental health officer came in here with the housing health and rating system as a checklist, it will be fine. You know, yeah. Tick, 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 it's all good. Yeah. Um, and that's where you need to be. Yeah, we've got plenty of sockets as yep. well yep. to make the tenants comfortable. We were talking as well before, um, you've got to be a bit careful on the renovation. I mean, yeah. when you've got a basically a £60,000 house, we were saying that the heating system can be close to 10% of the value of the house. You yeah. know? So you've got to be careful of what you do. You can't put gold-plated taps and marble worktops everywhere, but it has got to look look right. And in this area, I know that on right move on the on the portals, this will look like the best house on the street. Yeah, oh, the, the, definitely. Yeah, yeah, it, it, stands yeah. it stands out. It yeah, stands out, it stands out. Which, you know, yeah. when, when you're looking around, it's quite modest, um, but yeah, it will definitely stand out on the rental market yeah, and it, it will go, go quickly. What are we, two months in? Yeah, two months in. So we're, we're, we're December now, and it was October, um, mid October, wasn't it, when we got the keys? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look around. We've got some before and after photographs. We're going to um, splice them. 40 pound house? Bit. It's a £40,000 house. Yeah. Actually, um, 39999 Yeah. No stamp duty. If you bring yeah. it down just a pound below £40,000, there's no stamp duty. So I think it was slightly over forty grand, but fixtures and fittings were yes. on top. So, yes, there was yeah. about. Yeah. Pictures and fittings. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to have a look upstairs. Yeah. Let's go and look upstairs. Go. This is the main room, yeah? Oh. Walking storage. Nice. Cool. You've had new windows, right? New windows. Fire escape window there. Change with Charge lock on. Lounge. Yeah. Charge lock off. Yeah, so the majority of new windows, new back door as well. So to, out the back there, is that like a... Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, part an alley, so... Is that where you put the skip? Or did that go in the front? Um, the, often the builder would drive round it with the van, yeah. Oh, right. So you can get a car, so you put your beans out here. And then obviously at each end you've got a gate. It's security-wise, so obviously you've uh, tenants will have a key. Being what is it, a £60,000 house, isn't it? So £6,000 a year on a £60,000 house. Cool, so we've done the tour, we've yeah. seen your house for the first time. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's the really cool thing. So this is the first time Colin's been here and yeah. it's now been renovated. So you only ever saw the before in photographs. Um, yeah, and it's my second project. Oh, yeah, with you. true. So, Good point. So I sort of knew what, what to expect. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I'm, you know. For my fee that I'm paying you, I, I'm trusting you to that you know what you're doing, mm -hmm. and I'm and and part so part of that is the, the ability to just let you get on with it, yeah. mm. give me my time back. So um, I I would say that me and Jess have took a risk in a in, not in a silly way, but um, 
we've not been here before. We walked in with Colin either. We were just confident enough. We knew Andy had done a good job that you were going to be happy with it. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I have seen the video updates, the weekly video updates. So so I knew, you know, pretty much what to expect, but it's different when you actually Mm -hmm. So just to explain, every handhold client gets a weekly video update. So Andy, who's done the work, he's found this property, sourced the property, renovated it, and now he's in the middle of renting it out. Um, he does a walkthrough video pretty much every Friday. I mean, sometimes yeah. mm-hmm. there's not a lot going on, so you skip a Friday, but yeah. almost every week. Um, so you get to see the progress. That's quite yeah, reassuring. That's... You get to see everything you need to see. Yeah, yeah, it's been great to so in maybe see the progress. Three words, how would you describe you, you know, the house now you're here? Um, Three. Decent and safe. Decent and safe. Decent and safe. Decent and safe. Okay. That's the one we strive for. Yeah. How did you find out about us and what made you want to work with us in the first place? Yeah, so that's interesting because I, I found you on YouTube, first mm-hmm. of all. Okay. And But, you know, there's so many things on YouTube and people selling courses and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it all, yeah. it all seems... So, so I think most people's default... Um, reaction is going to be uh, this is, seems like a Put scam yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah definitely but for me what what made brought me made, made me think oh, maybe this is worth having a go taking the risk is that because you guys manage the 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 let mm. and you you do the renovation and you find the property you're going to want to make your job easy down the line mm. so you're not going to renovate it exactly. badly because yeah. that's just going to yeah come back to bite you later on so I once I sort of started to realize that I thought yeah actually our incentives are aligned you're not yeah. just going to try and sell me your service actually, yeah, yeah. to to get the sale mm. you know because you you know we're we'll, start, we'll still we're be starting. talking in 10 years time exactly. about this exactly. house exactly. exactly I think that sets us apart from a normal property sourcer yeah we are a property sourcer yeah we are a letting agent that's the difference we don't just help you buy it and say well the keys have been released go well good luck with it here's a list of some builders we know in the area we just yeah we do it all and then yeah you're right if we do a substantial renovation the tenants are going to complain to us Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if we put a bad tenant in they're going to cause our office problems um, because we're the managing agent so no that's it and if in the long run I don't if in the long run I don't make money then I won't I won't you know do business with you again yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. because you know with the nature of it with the refinancing you know you i keep going this is the second one mm. but i'm spending the same money again so yeah. i'm mm. the first one i refinanced and and that was the same yeah talk about that that worked i mean you yeah. bought one house did pretty much the same as this sourced it renovated it rented it out refinanced it and with those yeah. funds you had to add a little bit to it well no, not really because then... this is a smaller house of course yeah, so there you are. the other one there was like are. ninety thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. it pretty much got the price of this one all, yep. all in out yeah, of right. that. But I won't be able to do that again. I'll have to put some money put in. Put some money in. So out of one pot of cash, you manage to buy two houses, put yeah. a bit more in, you get to your third. They're all making profit every month as you go along. It's the way to build a property portfolio. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much the only way to build a property portfolio with a constrained capital pot. And everybody's got a constrained capital pot, even if it's you know, big. You know. Yeah, um, but that only works if, you know, with the long-term view from, from so you've got... A, you know, offer me a service that's going to keep me with you Correct. in the long term. Yeah. So well, that's what I realised, which made me think. We've, yeah, done it, we've done it over 1,200 times now. <laughs> um, we've been going over for over over 10 years. It's mm. 12, nearly 12 years that we've been doing the same thing. I've been buying houses like this for 20 years. Um, it, exactly like this as well. And we're in different parts of the country now. So I could tell, take you to a house in Bullwell. There's, it's identical to this in Nottingham, I, in, in Nottingham. Um, mm-hmm. and yeah, you know, I was buying that 15, 16 years ago. Uh, 20 years ago, I could take you to a house identical to this in Northampton. Um, five, six, seven years ago, yeah, South Rotherham, yeah. Yeah, 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 and and the prices change. Um, there's still stuff we can buy in, in in Rotherham and South Yorkshire, but not for forty thousand mm, pounds. Um, so yeah, the areas the areas change. Um, I don't know how much longer a fifty thousand pound house will exist, but then rents are going up, and values are going up. I, I, yeah, I like I like this location. I like this kind of house. Um, 
we've never bought a house like this that hasn't doubled in value in five years. Mm. Touch wood. Well, must be some, some yeah. wood in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, 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 it's never happened. I mean, I would still buy the right house in Nottingham if it came up, but they don't come up very often at all. Mm. But I wouldn't have then expected to double in value. Mm. It just wouldn't. It would yeah. be a... I'd, sure. I'd, I'd, you already I'd, missed that I'd, first yeah. bumper capital. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, well, you've already had it. Yeah. yeah. So, so, overall, so, so what yeah. areas do you think are still... We were in well, Hartlepool now, Hartlepool, but do you yeah. think all of the northeast? I think or? the northeast is, yeah. is so just getting there. If you look ten years ago, five, six years ago, you'd, you'd, you'd have said no. <clears throat> it wasn't quite there. It wasn't moving. It wasn't. I mean, th these areas are going up in value now. Yeah. Just only in the last five years have they really started. Um, don't forget, this is almost well three or four years ago. The value of this would have been unmortgageable for lots of people. Um, mm. The minimum value, the minimum mm. loan amounts wouldn't have been hit. As soon as you go over the top of that, all the cash investors start to refinance. You get other types of buyers in. You've got first-time buyers in the same People area. People start People talking about it, yeah. and then, yeah, yeah. it's a hot spot. Um, it's a, yeah, it, it happens years before it actually happens, you know. You, yeah. you, you start to, we start we're picking up on it very early. Mm. Um, there's other areas in the UK where I think similar things, you know, north, east, northwest. Um, the periphery areas, the places... It's not the sexy areas. You know, if, if people say Nottingham, Birmingham, Manchester, yeah, you couldn't buy at the right prices in the middle of those cities. It's all the periphery stuff that we like. It's where you find mm. this kind of house, which then goes up and, and you get that bump, that first capital growth bump. Um, you can't build this house. In the, what was, I'd imagine the rebuild on this house. 180, yeah. 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 So mm. the rebuild value on this house will be £180,000. Now, the rebuild value is, that's it for insurance purposes, the rebuild value is always more because you've got architect's fees to knock it down and look after next door and whatever. But yeah. if you wanted to build a row of terrace houses, a builder would be putting this together for one, two, five, one, three, five. You know, you could buy a second hand for less than this. We could almost <laughs> take it apart brick by brick and that just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, this area, it's got decent employment. Um, it's regenerating a bit and I'm sure that'll accelerate. Mm, most definitely. There's loads of stuff going on uh, over, over that way. We're by the seaside. We're going fishing chips in, really. Um, <laughs> yeah, so rents are going up. Values are going up. Um, one thing that I always, I'm really, really aware of is, let's say we go back to Nottingham and you go to the, the street that I'm thinking that looks identical to this. And this house is, yeah, we bought it and put it together for 60 grand. Okay, maybe worth 80. And in Nottingham, they're worth that much more. The person that lives in this house and the Nottingham house probably works maybe at a na national chain. They get paid the same. They mm. drive the same car. Their Sainsbury's food shopping costs the same. Just the house is half the price. Shouldn't yeah. be. And a national house builder couldn't put it together for... Yeah. Um, that's where that yeah. capital growth comes initially. One of, one of the things that made me uh, like the area is that Amazon warehouse 15 minutes away. It's not super close, but within, within commutable pretty, distance. Pretty close. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so that's going to be like 2,000 jobs, mm -hmm. 500 pound a week each. Yep. That's a, mm -hmm. a million pounds a week coming yep. into the local economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. makes a massive um, difference. Yeah, big time. There's quite yeah. a few, if you look at, you know, just, just Google it, the, the projects going on, the steelworks has all been, um, that, that area has been regenerated. It will take 20 years. That's great. You know? Yeah, that's yeah, great. It's that's a long you, term. You don't long want, you don't want something, a flash in the pan over a couple of years. I mean, that can come and go, can be axed, you know, whatever. But a 20-year yeah. plan to put you know, 40,000 houses in an area, that's, that's a big deal. Um, that's the kind of thing we look for. And, yeah, like I say, those new houses, they've got to go on the market for 150 to 175,000 pounds for something this size. Mm. That just pulls the value up. So, mm. um, that's certainly what we're seeing in different areas. So. Happy with the house? Oh, me? Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant talking about the video. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you happy with it, Lauren? Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. yes. Like yeah. I said, it, it's what I expected because you guys have kept me up to date. Mm. Um, I'm excited to see how quickly it rents yeah. and what it rents for. Yeah. And, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to do, do fine. Yeah. And then yeah, on to so the next one, on to the third. Time, by yeah. the time we get this video on the channel, it will be rented, so we can we can put those figures in. Yeah. Mm. We'll do it. Maybe Stick now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it rented for. <laughs> Great. Okay. Let's, right. go, let's, let's go get some fish and chips. Cool. All right. Nice one. Cheers. Thank you. All right. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Outside a house that I bought uh, a couple of months ago, with uh, for the landlords. Uh, it's the first time I've seen it. It's been um, renovated the last couple of months and uh, hopefully within a couple of weeks it'll have a tenant. 
It's the second project I've done with for the landlords. So um, my refinance on the first one paid for this. And uh, I'm looking forward to see how it goes and uh, in a few months time, start on the third. Leaving the seaside, going back home. Successful trip. One happy client. Thank you.